Uh, you know what? We also have some windy conditions yeah, out do. there. It's mm -hmm. really breezy, so it feels nice, but obviously causing some issues mm -hmm. out on the coast uh, for you beachgoers and boaters. But right now, live view from our downtown Miami camera. Wonderful way to kick off a new work and school week here as we are seeing plenty of sunshine, just a few clouds, and those clouds are blowing in on that breeze. Look at that Key West view and those bright blue skies. Gorgeous. Radar is showing us that we have a few showers showers that are streaming in mostly in Boca Raton, but also we're seeing those showers around Lighthouse Point and earlier around Parkland. Also seeing a few dotted showers near North Miami and headed here over towards Miami Lakes and also a couple of showers around Kendale Lake. So again, going to see the potential for a few of these dotted showers. The breeze anywhere from 13 to 21 miles an hour. That's a stain and we've had gusts as high as 25 miles an hour. So certainly a uh, wind day out there and warmer with low 80s in Miami and Fort Lauderdale, upper 70s for Southwest Ranches, Pompano Beach, 82 a marathon. And we are seeing that warm weather even up through Central Florida, the low 80s, upper 70s around the Big Bend, low 70s in the Panhandle. And then chillier 40s from Atlanta through DC, New York City and Boston right now into the 20s for places like Chicago near freezing in Kansas City. The teens though for uh, Minneapolis and also through parts of the Four Corners region where we have some wintry precipitation and that's also even through parts of northern Texas and then in addition to that a storm system that is producing some very active weather all the way from the southern plains through the central Gulf Coast states and the lower Mississippi Valley there could be some severe storms and also wintry weather for parts of the northeast New England areas but the highest risk for severe storms here highlighted in yellow for portions of the southeast and the Gulf Coast states could see tornadoes and damage gusty winds and flooding there. But here in South Florida, our highs right around 82 could even warm up a few more degrees than that. And the chance for these spotty showers on that east breeze, which again, small exercise caution. We're dealing with choppy conditions on the bays and a dangerous high risk of rip currents at the beach. Swimming is not recommended. And as we take a look at the forecast tonight, there could be some passing showers, mostly cloudy, low 70s. Your extended forecast showing we wake up with the lows in the 70s. Highs remain warm all week long, even warmer. We could see a few showers Thursday into Valentine's Day on Friday.